Hey guys, got a interesting EDC flashlight here from Brynite. Um, I've done multiple reviews for this company over the years. Uh, they make just top notch, some of the best quality flashlights um, that I have ever owned. And this one here, it's called the HL16 Noctua. So I figured we'd do an unboxing and uh, go over some of the specs and give my thoughts on this light. Uh, this is the box here. If you want, you should be able to scan that QR code there and get more information on the light. So here's a little card uh, telling you that there is a film over top of the battery so that it doesn't come on during ship or anything. So you gotta remove that little piece of film. There is the light itself. That thing is tiny, it's smaller than actually what I thought it was gonna be. That's real tiny. So, and then there's probably some stuff underneath here. Looks like some more literature. This is the user manual. I'll try to put some close-ups of this on the screen, or I can just bring this closer and you can pause and read that if you want more information. And what else is in here? Head strap that's branded. Seems fairly good, it's uh, like perforated. I'm gonna take the bands off of this. Yeah, that's actually a very nice head strap. Obviously adjustable. And charging cable. Go over that in a bit. And there are some extra O-rings. Looks like two of them. And also included is a pocket clip. And I can see two marks here, so it means it is reversible. Um, so you can wear this with lens facing up, or you can switch the clip around and wear lens going down. Also has a magnetic tail cap. It feels like it's a pretty strong magnet. And let's get that film off the battery. And that is another thing that is included, is a 16340 lithium ion battery. We'll go over charging here next. So it does have magnetic charging. That is the charging port right there. And basically it has like a female port right there. And then there's a male side here and it almost automatically just goes into place. Like you don't have to like try to find it or anything like that. And then you just take and use any type of a uh, charging device and hopefully this shows up, but there's a red light that's on right there. That will turn green once it's fully charged. Now, I typically don't care when manufacturers use proprietary cables. I always feel like a cable is eventually gonna like wear out or break, um, or you might just end up losing it, and like, how do you charge the thing? Well, these batteries are not proprietary, so you can easily take the battery out. And if you already have a lithium ion charger, you can uh, just take and, and place the battery, let me get that right, in a charger like that. And then again, take any type of charging source
and it'll recognize that there's a battery there and it's charging it up then. So you don't have to charge it inside of the flashlight. So that's okay with me. So I have multiple flashlights that are like right angle lights and they, they're they very useful if you've not ever had any. Uh, lots and lots of uses on these types of lights. Uh, and what's kind of unique about this Bryonite is that it can be held like a traditional flashlight or it has this 90 degree rotating head with multiple detents in between. I think there's probably four or five. So there's position two, position three, position four, position five. So all those stops between zero degrees and 90 degrees. So definitely unusual for that. The only other light that I have that's kind of similar, uh, and this is something I've done a video on in the past too, and it's, it's an absolute must buy in my opinion, but it's this Nikron N7, but it's basically a small handheld. And then you can twist this head basically to any position and turn it into a 90 degree light. And, but you can see that this uh, Bryonite, how much smaller this thing is. It's incredible how small it is. So just kind of looking at the light itself up close. I really like the pattern that's on the head and tail cap here. And I almost wish that they would have continued it throughout the body here as well. Um, very interesting. I really like the design of that. The anodization feels really good on it. Um, one thing I am noticing is that they did blue around the power button and blue around the bezel. And that reminds me a lot of another company that does blue around their button, blue around their bezel. But not knocking them, it's just uh, something I noticed. All right, we'll quickly go over the user interface and I'll kind of show you some of the light outputs here. Uh, to turn the light on or off, it's basically, it's a long hold for just a couple seconds. And this comes on, uh, it does have mode memory, but right now it just came on in the highest setting, uh, which is the 520 lumens. And 520 lumens for an EDC light, that's honestly all you'll ever need. Um, even in a self-defense situation, 520 lumens is enough to definitely, you know, temporarily uh, disorient somebody. And then just a single tap on there takes that down to the low setting. I'm sorry, to the medium setting, which is 200 lumens. Um, and then another tap takes you down to low, which is 60. And then a final tap takes you down to like a moonlight setting, which is five. And then you can get to strobe. So there's a strobe coming up here by double tapping. And it appears to be a constant rate strobe. I'm gonna see if you can get to that strobe from the off position. So again, another strobe warning. And yes, you can. And here's an example of that mode memory that I was talking about a minute ago. Let's say I turn it on and I'm in the highest output. And then let's say I go down to medium to low and then I shut the light off. And then let's say a day later I need to use it. I turn it back on. It'll come on in the low setting. And then there's that moonlight, and then there's the real high 520 lumens. So that's what the memory's about. Now that we've went over the user interface, I wanna go back to the battery real quick. Um, I didn't wanna show it before we actually turn the light on and off, but they claim that if you don't wanna use the rechargeable or if the rechargeable goes bad after three or four years or whatever, and you don't wanna buy a replacement, they say that you can use just a regular CR123A battery. So we're gonna put it in and see if it in fact does work. I don't have like a lumen meter or tester, so I can't verify that the outputs are the same, but we'll just see if it even works. Yeah, it came right on. 
So then uh, let's see what medium, low, moonlight. I don't know if it's quite as bright just with my naked eye looking at it. It might be, but it's kind of hard to tell. But the batteries definitely work. One other thing I wanted to mention on this, I have the battery button turned down right now, uh, so I can show you this here, but I'm gonna turn it on, and this does have a battery level indicator. So let me flip it on here. You see how that just turned to green? That basically lets you know that you're somewhere between 40 to 100%. If we would have turned it on and it was red, um, it would have been somewhere between five to 40%. And if we turned it on and it was flashing red, it's basically about to die. It's somewhere between zero and 5%. So these types of head straps that have this rubberized holder on them are sometimes a little bit of pain in the butt to get the flashlight into it. Um, once you get it in, it's fine, but so you have to remove the clip um, or there's basically no way of getting it through there. And then this can go in either way. So you could put it in this way with the HL16 facing up, or you could put it in this way with the Brennite facing up. Uh, the other solution, if you needed to have one side or the other, is you always could flip the headband up or down. But So let's see how long this takes here. First time trying it. Yeah, not too, too bad. Just getting it through all of these little like rings and I'm almost in there. And then once it goes through, I can see that there is like a, uh, an area right here in the body that this is supposed to go on to. There we go. Almost right where the, um, where the pocket clip goes, there's like little grooves right there. So like it's locked in right now. All right, so what's nice about this is that once you have it on, you can then rotate it to whatever spot you need it to be. So if this is on your head and you needed it more out, you can just rotate this up to whatever position you need it to be. And that actually feels very, very, very secure in this thing like there is no movement it fit right down in that groove see that groove that's there for that pocket clip and man this thing like rotates really nice that's probably the best one that i've ever felt on a on a headlamp usually it's a pain in the butt to try to move these things around that's really 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 nice i like that a lot so I obviously struggled a little bit getting that through the second side. Once it was in there, it was great. Um, so if you want to use it just as a dedicated headlamp, you can leave it in that thing all the time. Um, the way I'll likely use this is as an EDC pocket carry. I pretty much wear a hat everywhere I go. And with this pocket clip, I should be able to just slide this over, get it over that lip right there. And once it's on there, I could then position that to wherever I might need light. Plus having that magnetic tail cap, if I needed it somewhere in the car, around the car, I could always just stick it to the, to the side of the car. I really like that a lot. I'll try to get you guys some nighttime beam shots with this, but just please keep in mind I'm using an iPhone 10 and uh, it's never as bright using a phone as what it is like with your naked eye at night. Well, hopefully those uh, night shots gave you some idea of its capabilities. Yeah, overall, I think this is a sweet little light. 
they are a little bit pricey because they're like in the 60 to 65 dollar range they are available on amazon um, so you could always try it out and if it's something that you don't think is for you you could request a return on it i will say that this light here which basically uses the same type of battery i think i paid 55 dollars for it and it is magnetic um, but it uses a proprietary battery. I, I can only use a battery for this and the head does not, you know, swivel at all. This is a much more useful light for sure. And it's only a few dollars more. Probably my only concern with this light, and I'm telling you, Brenite puts out just absolutely top-notch, top quality products. But my only concern is I don't know how well this will show up here, but those are like little like pivot holes. And there has to be some type of like little like nub or nipple or something like that in there that for the detent when it catches in each of these spots. And I would be concerned that maybe if I did this every day, multiple times a day, that the little nub in there might wear down and then it won't stay in those positions. Now I haven't had this light long enough, but it's kind of like a fidget toy, you know, you just kind of mess with it like this. And I, I hope it does not do that. I haven't seen any complaints on it. That's just something that I'm thinking for in the future that that might happen, but it might not at all. I mean, they, they I'm sure that they designed it. I'm sure that they tested. Uh, I'm sure that they've done this thousands and thousands of times to make sure um, and they have a good warranty program as well, but it's just something that, I mean, right now I've probably have done this probably 200 times in the few days I've had it, but that just got me thinking that maybe that's something that could possibly wear out on it. And maybe one other concern of mine might be that there is no electronic lockout. So if you were to have this in a pocket and something just got pressed up against it just a little bit you know, it would come on in that high and that would definitely burn you or burn through your clothing. Um, so if you are gonna be carrying it on you, I would probably recommend giving that tail like a quarter or half turn and then there's no chance of it coming on then. I'm sure that I probably left a few things out of the review. So if you have any questions at all, please them down below, I'll try to get to them. Um, I'm also going to leave an Amazon link. I think that's a safe way of buying it if you're interested in it. I will also leave links to uh, Brian Knight's website, to their store, uh, to their Facebook group. Uh, lots of information there if you're interested. It's a sweet little pocketable EDC light. It would be good even if you didn't want to carry it to leave in a purse or in your car. Uh, lots and lots of uses for this signaling. You know, if you were to break down, you could put this on the side of your car, turn that, put it on strobe, and that way uh, alerts motorists that are coming by that, you know, you're stranded. And there's just so many different things that you can use these types of lights for. You know, even if you need a headlamp to, to work on something around the house, you know, you shut the power off to a room and then you you know, you're changing an outlet and you need some light for that outlet and it's great for that. Either put on that head strap or put on a ball cap and put it on there. Or if there's something metal round, you can, you know, angle it to however you want. Very cool, very ingenious little light. Um, right now I'm highly recommending it uh, for the 60 or $65 price. It, I think it's well worth it. So, all right guys, that's it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.